What is up guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Box. Now today, you might notice something is a little bit different about us. What? What? What's happening? What's happening? Calm down, calm down. It's okay. We're animated. We are animated? And now, we're not. Okay. Okay, so we are back guys. Now, we wanted to try something a little bit new. We want to try and do an animated story for you guys. Okay, okay. okay. Now, the story I'm going to be telling today is when I dated my best friend's sister. What are you talking <laughs> Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. This story now, gets I don't crazy. Have, I don't have a sister, so I already know you making this up. No, no, my, my other best friend. What are you talking I am your only best friend. No? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. This was before. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Well, the yes, story. Yes, I am. <laughs> So this is a completely true story. Now, I was probably around 13 years old, and my parents sent me off to a summer camp for two weeks. 13 years old, so that would be last year for you? <laughs> This summer camp was in the mountains. Okay, in the mountains. so picture a camp in the middle of nowhere. Like some, like some snowy mountains or some hot. No, no, no it was hot in the summer. Oh, yeah. Man. So there was about 30 other campers besides me. At that age, I was so shy. I didn't talk to anybody. So half the campers were guys and half were girls. And okay. this was before I really ever talked to girls, like right. ever. So oh, you must have showed up and went like, "What are these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are what girls look like." The second I got there, my parents dropped me off, right? Uh -huh. And they're like, all right, uh -huh. have a good next two weeks. Uh -huh. They left. Okay. I was so scared yeah. that I went to the bathroom yeah. and my nose started bleeding. What? Oh yeah. That's Wait, how nervous that, I was. That's like some scary movie, spooky, middle of the woods stuff. And then there was no toilet paper in the stall no, yet because they, were, they were still setting up the camp. <laughs> I was hiding and I had to use my finger to stop the nosebleed. And so I, I came out of the bathroom with blood all over my you hands. Came <laughs> you came out of the bathroom. All the other campers like, did that guy just attack a small animal in the bathroom stall? The whole point of that was saying I was terrified of this camp. They had like the introduction. So they had all the camp counselors gather all the kids around, right? And we all gathered in this big cafeteria room. At this initial meeting with the counselors, they said the rules, you know, you have to be in bed by this time. And one of the big rules they said was there is no dating at this camp. No dating? At You're all. only there for two weeks. Exactly. How do you date somebody in two weeks? You'd be amazed. It idiot. takes me two lifetimes <laughs> to date somebody. How are you going to make a relationship in two weeks? See, I was like, well, that shouldn't really bother me. I'm not going to get a girlfriend here because I haven't had one before, right? True, true. Well, what if I told you... I actually got a girlfriend here. I will that say be a that's about as fake as no. Bigfoot himself. <laughs> the first friend I made at this camp is right? that's about as fake as Bigfoot himself. <laughs> the first <laughs> friend I made at this camp, <laughs> his name was Ryan. Ryan. And he was cool. And he was older. He was one of the 15 year old kids there. Wow. And he was way cooler. He had like shaggy hair and he was like a skater dude. That and here I was cool. with my Pokemon cards and all this <laughs> stuff. You brought Pokemon cards yeah. to camp? I got lonely. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I might not make any friends at this camp, but at least I can talk to my people. <laughs> I became friends with this Ryan guy, and uh -huh. he basically took me under his wing. When this story is headed, it sounds like you're gonna end up telling me you started dating Ryan. <laughs> That's what this sounds like. Well, Ryan had a younger sister at the camp oh, oh, named Rachel, this... who was my age. Oh. Okay, I see where this uh -huh. is going. So basically, Yikes. basically at meal times when we would eat in the cafeteria, I would eat with Ryan because I was his friend, right? Yeah, because so you got to sit at the cool table. Exactly, uh -huh. and basically his. Uh -huh. sister Rachel would eat with him too because she was nervous and new, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So we all ended up eating together, me, Ryan, and Rachel. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I, I know, I know this story is getting very uh, suspenseful, but there's really only one thing on my mind, which was, how was the food at the cafeteria? <laughs> it was really good. Okay, what yeah. were you guys eating? Give me, paint me a picture. We had a lot of like meatballs, lasagna, mashed potatoes, stuff like that. Okay, Yeah. okay, I'm just, now I'm just picturing you eating a giant meatball <laughs> with your new buddies. Okay, okay. And me and Rachel started talking more because we were already around each other. Around each other eating those meatballs. Yep. 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 yep, yep, yep. So I would, I would talk to her. We were both really shy people, but we would talk a lot more and we kind of became friends. And like, I think she actually, I would show her my Pokemon cards. And she thought they were cool. Stop. Stop. 
She thought they were cool. That's re that's really how you thought you want to impress her? What if I pull out my holographic Charizard? Do you want to date me now? I kind of started to develop, you know, a little bit of a crush on her. I yeah. got a little more nervous. What, when I was now, now her. slow it down. What about her drew you to her? Well, she was a girl. Uh, she talked to me, and that was. <laughs> And she didn't run away when I talked to her. That's all I needed. <laughs> so another thing I forgot to mention was there was no uh, cell yeah. phone service uh, yeah. at the camp. What? Because you were so high up in the mountain. We weren't allowed to text each other because we couldn't text each other. Yeah. So at night. What? Yeah, you're, you're so another thing I forgot to mention was there was no cell phone service at the camp. What? Because you were so high up in the mountain. We weren't allowed to text each other because we couldn't text each other. Yeah. So at night, the counselors let the boys and girls passed notes, written notes, in between each other. So all the boys would be in one room, and all the girls would be in another. And the counselors would bring notes back and forth in between the two rooms. Oh, it's like a primitive version of DM. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. now I understand. I had to shoot my shot, you know? I had to go for it. So I wrote a little note to Rachel and I said, hey, like, what is it like having your older brother at this camp? Ha ha ha. I had some, like, ha -ha. smiley faces. I had some ha ha he he. Yeah, and there. I sent it over to her. Now, the counselors read each message before they give it to her, right? Oh. Because they don't want you guys, like, secretly being like, yo, like, let's... You know, let's prank someone or whatever. Uh, 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 so they read the messages uh, uh, and then they give it to you, right? Uh, 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 so the counselor took my note. He's like, okay, cool. Gave it to Rachel. Uh, uh, I got a note back from Rachel. Uh, She's like, oh, it's so nice. Uh. And then I was like, should I just go for it? Should I hope that they don't read my message? Wait, you really? Wow, you really took that big of a risk? Yeah. No way. No way. No way. So I said, hey, Rachel, I'll be honest. I think you're really cute and I like you. There's no way. I literally There's said no that. Way. I literally no way. said that. And you just were banking on the fact that they wouldn't read it? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. crumpled yeah. it up really tiny and put it with all my other friends' notes and I'm like, oh, here's all our notes. And then they went over to pass it back and I was praying they wouldn't intercept it. What if they read it? You would get kicked out of that camp so fast. <laughs> I know it was you from the start in the bathroom. You little note passing, bloody handed little fiend. The note got through. Wow. I got one of the cooler counselors. He didn't really look at them that closely. Yeah. And then he delivered it to Rachel. I, I'm impressed. You you might have a future working at the Justy Spy Corp. Because that, that is impressive. Good job. Yeah. Message now, received. I did not get a message back. So oh, that night, yeah, she left you, she left you on red. red. Literally, literally, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she left me on red, and I was like, "Ah, oh, I blew it. Like I shouldn't. Have. Well, maybe it got intercepted. Like I started going to like, what was the worst case scenario? The next day at lunch, I was really nervous, right? Because yeah. I was like, did she read it? Did she yeah. not? Did it get intercepted? Am I gonna get in trouble? Sitting there eating your meatballs. So I pull up next to Rachel. Yes. And I set my food down. Yes. Uh, and I'm just kind of like, hey, how's it going? Uh huh. And uh, she's like, hey, um, by the way. I like you too. What? Yeah, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. She was like, I didn't want to send one back because I was worried that they would get intercepted. Uh -huh. oh, this is true. Like this that. is a true story. Hey, you ain't got to lie to us, Adam. Hey, you ain't got to lie to us, Adam. You ain't gotta, we like you. We, you ain't got to lie to us. You really, you really expect me to believe you just came down and like in a movie, she goes, I like you too. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. From that point forward, we hung out all the time. We were never allowed to be alone at camp. We were like, hey, like once the camp is over, like we should become boyfriend and girlfriend. The camp is over. We go home. On the drive home, I texted her and I was like, hey, Rachel, it was so great to meet you. Like, I really hope we can keep hanging out. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I love hey, to. I love to. Yeah. Yeah. So I asked her on a date. I was like, I'm just going to go for it. This is my one chance. Yeah, you gotta shoot your shot. Yeah. Hey, you so, 13 year old Adam was like, you know what? what? Where should I take her? To the movies. So, I'm like, hey, Rachel, I'd love to take you to the movies. And she said, okay, let's go. I had my dad drive me to the movies. But guess who Dad? drove her to the movies? Her brother Ryan. Oh, oh. And her parents oh, made no. Ryan oh. sit in between us at oh, the movies. Oh, what an oh. That's not even the saddest part of the movie. What happened? So How we finished the movie, right? Yeah. I said pretty much nothing to her. The knew how old I was, so I didn't really know that he was really able to drive. I don't even know that. But, look at him! Look at him! I'm swimming in that elephant! He's swimming when you put water on an elephant! Look at him! He's like, why? And I was like, he's like, oh, hey, no, you ain't able to swim in the way I'm going to slap the wheel out of you. 
the entire time because I was so nervous. Yep. So we go out to the lobby of the movie theater where they sell the popcorn and they have the games and all that stuff. My dad comes to pick me up and I see him walking up into the theater and he's like, all right, say goodbye. Say goodbye. This was my chance. My one chance to hug her or kiss her on the cheek. Oh yeah, in your dream. And you yeah, know, yeah, you didn't even do that in your dream. I went in for the hug yep. and I hugged Ryan and then I high-fived Rachel. <laughs> and then I left. I was so nervous <laughs> about my dad seeing me with a girl. I hugged Ryan and then I went for the high-five on Rachel. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know why you had any campus. On the way home, she broke up with me through time. <laughs> she texted me, she's like, I don't think this is gonna work out. And then we never talked again. It's because you're a bad high fiver. That's what it is. That's what it is. You had those sweaty hands. When he high fived her, her whole hand was just covered instantly in Adam's sweat. And that's it. We that broke up. Story. She broke up with me. And I never talked to her again. And I never talked to another girl again in my life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, that was 100% real. I did not make up a single part of that. Why would you tell me that story? Like what? Like we sat down here, do a little ha ha he he, a little fun animated story, and now I just literally feel depressed. <laughs> okay, guys, we really hope you enjoyed that first. Yeah, 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 yeah,